Right, hello everybody, we're here today with this Volvo V70 with a 2.4 engine, 2000 model year and we're going to use it to demonstrate to you how you can recognise a compression, an engine with compression problem from the way it sounds. And just to be clear, uh, what we're going to teach you in this video doesn't just apply to this model, it applies to any car. The, the, the principle of, of the change in noise that we're going to demonstrate to you is the same. Okay, so what we've done here is that we've taken out uh, the the fuel pump injector in the ignition coil fuse on this car. It all happens to be in one, so we've taken that out. So hopefully we're going to be able to crank the engine round without it starting. So initially we're just going to do, do it on the engine as it is to sort of hope, to hopefully demonstrate to you the sound of a, of a healthy crank. And then next what we're going to do is we're going to come back, uh, take off one of the spark plugs, uh, thereby creating a, a cylinder with bad compression on it. Uh, and then crank it around again and hopefully you're going to hear the difference. So here we go, we're going to, this is the healthy crank coming up now. I'm going to go around and crank it. Okay, hope you heard that. Obviously, the engine didn't start, but you could hear that the the, the cranking noise was even. It was an even. It wasn't doing like a. So uh, what you're going to see is when we uh, take off one of the spark plugs to create that uh, that uh, effect of the cylinder with bad compression. That is what's going to happen. So uh, we'll do that now when we come back. Okay, so we're back. So as you can see, we've taken off uh, one of the uh, coil packs and uh, completely taken off one of the spark plugs. So uh, there's obviously going to be no compression on that cylinder. So we're just going to go and crank it round again. And uh, hopefully you're going to see the uh, difference in what it sounds like. Or hear the difference in what it sounds like, I should say. So hopefully you, you heard that and in fact uh, as, as, a, as a little bit of like a vapour or whatever came out of the cylinder you, you might have actually sort of had a little bit of a visual on it as, as, as well. So in, instead of that even like it was before it was and basically what, what that is is each time that that particular cylinder is coming up to its compression stroke uh, the engine's just finding it that bit easier to turn around compared to when the other pistons are at their compression stroke. So that's why the engine just turns faster uh, at those points. Now, obviously, um, this is a bit of an extreme example because we've we've um, completely taken the spark plug out in, in real life. It might not be so obvious because obviously it depends how bad the compression lack of compression is and it might not be that bad. But hopefully that should give you an idea of what you need to be listening for so hope that was helpful so just to summarize then if you so if you've got a car that's not starting you can obviously still listen to it crank and uh, just by listening to it, hopefully be able to either rule in or rule out uh, whether it's not starting due to a compression problem and uh, something else you can do is if you've got a car that starts and runs but has a miss maybe you can do something similar to uh, to what we did you know to take out uh, the fuse to the fuel pump and then you know once again just like we did here just crank it round without it starting and listen to it and that way once again you can use that to either rule in or rule out uh, whether your miss is due to a compression problem or, or, or some other problem so those are the kind of ways um, that you might find that you know that this helpful and uh, maybe in the future in fact we're going to do some more in-depth videos on using techniques like that so if you think that might be helpful you know please subscribe and uh, and hope you enjoyed watching this video thank you bye